Bhel is one such snack that I can eat any time of the day. And today, I'm going to give my favorite Bhel a Mexican twist. Hi guys, this is Ruchi Bharani. Welcome to Rajshri Food, your ultimate destination for 100% vegetarian recipes. And today, let's make Mexican Bhel. For bhel, normally we use a few chutneys. So for this, I'm going to make a Mexican sauce. So starting with heating a tablespoon of oil. Next, I'm going to saute just two tablespoons of finely chopped onion. Next, add in a tablespoon of garlic finely chopped. After the onions soften, Add in two tomatoes, boiled, pureed and strained. Next, add in all the seasoning ingredients. So, a tablespoon of ketchup. Next, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of taco seasoning. Just in case you don't find it, skip it. One teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. One fourth teaspoon of cumin powder. Half a teaspoon sugar. A teaspoon of vinegar. Give this a good mix and cook this for 2 minutes. Water to deglaze the pan and the sauce is ready. Let's turn off the flame and make sure you cool down the sauce completely. If you are fond of Mexican cooking, stay tuned till the end because I have a tip for you. And now, let's move on to the next step. So I have two tortillas over here and what I'm going to do is just cut it into small pieces. You could use ready-made tortillas or you can even make them at home. Chop them up into small pieces. You could deep fry these pieces or you could apply oil on both the sides of the tortillas and then cut it into small squares and even bake them. Let's add these in the oil. The oil has to be medium hot. Once they catch a little color, let's get them out of the oil. Time to toss up the bale. So I have red capsicum that I've chopped, green capsicum, yellow capsicum, one potato diced, yellow corn boiled, two tablespoons of soaked and pressure cooked kidney beans, one small onion finely chopped, coriander leaves, also, two light green chilies, finely sliced. Salt to taste. Let's toss all the veggies first. Let's crush a few pieces of the tortillas. Time to add in the sauce. If you wish to add in some lemon juice, you can do so. If you want to make it more spicy, you can add some more green chilies. The bhel mixture is ready. And now, time to plate. Place a bed of this mixture. Crush some tortillas on top. Just a little more sauce. Grate some cheese on top. Top with some iceberg lettuce, some jalapenos, olives, some quartered cherry tomatoes and last but not the least, a little bit of coriander leaves. A few tortilla chips on the side. Who knew our favourite bhel can get such a fancy Mexican twist? Trust me, it tastes as good as it looks. So do give it a try, comment and subscribe to Rajshri Food. I'll see you soon. Bye. The sauce that I prepared in the first half of the recipe is quite versatile. You can store it in an airtight container for about 2-3 to three months in the freezer. You can add some boiled kidney beans and make refried beans for nachos. You can even use it as an enchilada sauce.